Hi guys, welcome to uh, another random video. Uh, as I promised uh, last time, I thought we'd have a look at the good old uh, Retron 5. I don't know how well you can see it with the light in this room. I've uh, moved things around a wee bit, but uh, yeah, this is the black model. I think it cost me about 110 quid. I, I used, I got it from Funstock, and I just used like a, a voucher code by liking their Facebook page. So. You can do that if you want. Uh, yeah, so what's to say about it? I mean, first of all, it comes with a controller. Uh, this is it up close. It's quite chunky. I think it's ugly. Buttons on top. Uh, weird, like, stick controller. I don't know how well you can see that or hear it. Yeah. Just imagine that you're playing the games. And the buttons. Yeah, it's drive it does, it drives up the bloody wall, it's terrible. I, mean, I never use it, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second, but look at look at Feels cheap and plastic and bleh. Horrible, horrible thing to use. But, uh, I mean, even as a temporary controller, whilst I was waiting for another controller to arrive, I didn't use the system. <laughs> I think I tried playing Contra on it and it was just, it was awful, absolutely awful. But the good thing about it is it's all, I think it's Bluetooth, so it's wireless, so... If it was a good controller with a good feel on it, it'd be great, but sadly it's not. But, uh, like I say, anything you can do with that, you can do on the... I mean, I've got a, 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 a third-party SNES controller, as I've said before. This is it. I've got that from Funstock as well, you see that. It's uh, uh, purple buttons, L and R buttons. I don't know if you see the sound of that. Awesome. It just literally it's just like a sned sned pad and it works perfectly. No delays. Try it on Mario Kart, a couple of fighting games, it just works brilliantly. Uh, the mean the machine itself, see them again, I can't tell with the light on this camera. But I mean you've got these rubber connectors here and on basically over all of the ports. And uh God I almost knocked the camera out then. Well, that's where the SNES one goes in. But you can use Mega Drive, NES, <coughs> a couple of Genesis. Oh, it's two. It's, oh, sorry, I've never seen. But you can do two player for both. So straight on, on either side. And then you can, you know, fantastic. Big slot on top for what the pad sits in. Not amazing. Uh, you can see that, man. My, my SD card, 8 gig card with pretty much the entire li library of <laughs> multiple consoles. It's just amazing, you know what I mean? Look, look at that. Do you know what I mean? For modern day, it's an 8 gig card and there's the entire SNES library, Famicom, uh, NES, most of the NES, MD. Just crazy what you can do. I mean, back in the day, something like that, you'd have killed for it. Nowadays, I think that cost me two quid off, <laughs> off Amazon. Crazy talk. But yeah, it's an awesome little system in just a second. I'll, uh, I'll uh, fire up the old screen and we'll uh, have a look at the menus and stuff. I'm uh, going to edit some videos together, so I apologise for the eat break there. But yeah, like I say, I mean, it does uh, Genesis, SNES, NES, Famicom. Uh, the thing is, the, NES, the, the Famicom and the NES... Are, uh, the thing is, if you put a ne uh, if you play ROMs on it, which I do, obviously. I mean, I have they're over there, but I have original games for each slot because the way you play a ROM is you put you load the original game, and then you patch it. Dead easy to do in the menu. You patch it with a ROM, and then it plays the ROM on top of the on top of the cart as if it sees what's on the carts there, and then it's got save states and freeze play and, and all the rest of it. it it's great, lot of I absolutely love it. It's so so handy uh, it's it's uh, HD only on that you not be able to see that that's me being a plonker but yeah yeah I mean uh, great little system let's uh, have a closer look at it and uh, get some more thoughts as you can see here this is uh, my projector screen we're showing this on a wall I think it's about as sharp as I can get it uh, it actually strangely looks a lot better on this camera than it does uh, through the HDMI TV for recording. I don't know why, but we'll, we'll sort of have, a, have a look. Uh, I think I said before, my Retron 5's fully updated, so it's got the latest firmware on, so we'll just fire it on. But uh, one of the first things they improved on the as the versions increased was the speed of the boot up time. So let's just fire it up and have a look. I'll just press the old uh, power button on the front. 
There we go. There we go. Good old logo there. I've uh, turned, the, turned the volume down a bit in case you're wondering. That loading at the top, we've basically got a Mega Drive cartridge plugged in there. What it does is first it accesses it, downloads a copy of the actual hard drive onto its, sorry, of the actual cartridge onto its hard drive, and then it's like it's as if it emulates that file it downloads. So you're playing an exact copy of the cartridge that's in, which you might think, well, that's not the original. But the great thing is, if you've got a game which is a bit knackered, um, a perfect example. I've, got, I've not got it in at the moment, but. Uh, What's it called? Uh, low G man. Um, doesn't work on any nares. I've scrubbed it clean and everything. It's proper damage. Works on this, and the console downloads a perfect copy, and I can play it. But the great thing is, we'll, we'll get on. I can play hacks that way as well. But yeah, as you, EA Sports double header. The the system comes with like full databases of the uh, of, of all pretty much all the games. There's always there's a very very small percentage they might not have. Uh, and a couple of that don't work, but well, they're usually very obscure titles. One was, um, I can't remember what it's called, Megumi uh, uh, Demon Hunter. It's basically a girl that drives a platform with a girl and a sword and bubbles and jumping about levels. I used to love that as a kid. Doesn't work with this system. The ROM doesn't work either, which was a bit disappointed over, but what can you do? Anyway, because crew the choices. Uh, I quite like this layout again. I think they changed it slightly. Down the left hand side, there you can see at the moment Genesis highlighted, but you've got SNES, NES, Famicom, GBA, and Game Boy as well. It's two in one. But we'll just go to game menu. Uh, we c if I click play, at the moment actually I've been playing uh, a ROM already, and it's already that's Granada X, I think. Anyway. But things like this. Copy save to Retron. So if you're playing something like Zelda or anything like that where it's got save game on the car, if you're if it ever runs out, you can uh, you know the battery runs out, you can mess around and get them save that way, or you can copy it from the cartridge to this before it goes. You can also copy it back in future if you ever want to do that. You gotta be careful with how it does it, because if you do that last one, it can actually wipe the saves when it pastes them back on, so you've got to be very careful. And anyway, I tend to just ROM them on, uh, save all the cats, to, sorry, all the saves to the cat, um, saves to the system, and uh, do it that way. Yeah, so as you can see, main menu, game menu, game specific settings, you need, uh, I think it's an IP patched uh, ROM to, to use each of these. See, current patch, now you might not be able to see that, but select patch. And I've got an SD card in the back of the system, I've just stuck an 8, 8, eight gig one in because that's all I had. I mean, I've tried not to uh, go nuts with ROMs because I tend to have never played them all. But uh, yeah, basically, the ROMs only work with the cartridge that matches the system. So if you've got a Game Boy ROM and you've got a Mega Drive cartridge in, it will not load. You need the Game Boy cartridge in place to play the Game Boy ROMs because it, it's like it goes through the security settings. Of course, uh, Retron don't officially, Hyperkin don't officially recognise that, but it's there, so what can you do? Nice selection of games in there I've put on already. Uh, so, I mean, I've, I've picked out all the ones I think would be interesting. Desert Strikes, awesome, awesome game. But let's have a quick gander. I don't think, I don't think I've done a Ghostbusters one before. Well, like this one, Golden 20 in 1, if you can see that. I mean, you know, 20 cartridges in one, one spot, I thought, what the hell, I can play loads of games and I never have to worry about it. So, I have Granada, Hulk, I just want to be curious about what that one actually looked like. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think you can play Master System games on it. I might be wrong though. So let's have a quick look at Ghostbusters. So, I've just selected the patch. I'm uh, using the uh, SNES third party, I don't know if you can see that then, the light in here. So select patch, oh, I've done that part. All you do is like, so it's patched now, you can maybe just about see it at the top. Uh, current patch, Ghostbusters, uh, I've loaded it before. If you want, uh, yes I'll remove it because I was just playing around with it. And then you go back to the main menu and you just hit play.
don't know if you can hear that. I say it messed with the volume a bit. Pretty much perfect sound, I think. Depending on your sound system. This sounds a bit crap because it's. Uh, I've not got the speaker setting right, sorry. Oh, uh, the uh, wee screen's a bit out there, but like I say, first time messing with this with a projector. Du -du 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 -du. Let's just turn it down and just have a look at the game, otherwise, you won't be able to hear me. Alright, press start, start. I'll go with Pete. Du -du. I'm not going to go and do full play, I just thought I'd show it you. Booting one up in action, but like I say, you know, looks great, plays great. If you want, you can stick your uh, original pads in there, so there's a. Uh, I'm using the real thing. Oh. As you can tell, I do not know the controls. But yeah, anyway. Great looking game. If you want to go back to the main menu, I mean, I'm using a third party pad, but it's set up so if you press down and start, there you go, in game menu. And you can do anything load state, save states, uh, things like the filter, loads of options in there, but there's one in there which is, uh, there it is, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> but scan lines, you set that on, I don't know how well that'll. Uh, stay on this but I don't know if you can see it on the projector but it's basically uh, added scan lines that you get on your old TV so uh, I, mean, I don't like that because you'll lose the sharpness of it but yeah looks pretty good uh, take a screenshot if you want as it does save states let's return to the wrong one Turn to main menu. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Return to main menu. I pressed the wrong button, that's why. Let's just fire another quick game and have a look. You can just... Uh... Oh, I'll do that one. Right, I've just stuck a, a Game Boy cartridge in there because these are quite interested. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It's a copy of Wave Race stuck in the side, but uh, it's a Game Boy Color it does as well. We'll go for an original because, as you can see, I've gone a bit mad with ROMs. <laughs> like I say, this is all what I think of the good games to play. Let's see if Batman's on there. I think I did that one. There we go. Batman classic game. Right, there we go. Let's play it. Oh, maybe he doesn't like Batman. <laughs> oh dear. Well, oh, maybe. We're off now. But this is what happens if the game won't load. <laughs> I might have to put a G. I forget what it is. But, uh, let's try selective packs. Let's try a different one. Let's try a game by colour game. I'm adding. This one should boot up. I thought the game by game would look great. It'd be interesting. The bloody thing, I've messed it all up. There we go, is that promising? Is it not promising? Obviously I've not tested all the patches, I probably should have done that before I loaded. That's not an active. Well, let's try GBA again. So, Here we go. This will give you a good idea what the GB game, Game Boy games look like. 
I load this one. I think this is Tony Hawk I've got in as a cartridge. I mean, I just bought cheap games so I could uh, do the boost and run the ROMs off. But if you've got a full original game, you can play them. There we go. I mean, oh, that's just the ROM I'm playing, but look at that. Advanced Wars 2, that's on a projector on a massive, massive screen. Like, uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. You see, you see what I mean? I'm huge. <laughs> and that's off in the side, yeah? Oh, press start. There we go. I'm sure we've got loads of uh, Advance Wars fans, but let's try something different to show off a, another game. Let's try. See, it's another game by game. There we go. Oh, bit too eager on the old buttons. Do, 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 do. Oh dear. And the Game Boy games do load, I promise. I'm, I'm playing Castlevania at one point, just I'm not playing with it for a bit. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame if that's not going to load that one. Let's try Game Boy Color just in case. Bust the move for. Might just be, I'm just probably loading it wrong, so don't want to worry about that. Yeah, another one failed. Let's go back. The loading time is it's a couple of seconds if that, so if it ain't appearing, then I've definitely done something wrong. GBA, let's try another one. Circle the Moon, all the Castlevania games are stuck on here. It is an awesome one, F0. This definitely works. Yes, remove the save patch because I don't care. Patch file loaded. There we go, straight on. Effectively, the done up. That'll do. Okay, A's all the way. Start. Grand Prix. Oh, yeah, whatever. So, uh, there we go. Well, you're mode 7, but with a GBA power. <laughs> Two, one. Oh. I can't tell you how awesome this looks though having it on, on a wall massive like that. It's great if you can you've got time to play handhelds or things or you know if you do a lot of travelling for work to have it in your hand but which I don't but having it like this is just fantastic because I'm gonna play through all the classics. As you tell not very good. <laughs> Oh, oh, way off there, way off there. The things like the Mario Golf games look amazing on this. But anyway, let's uh, turn to the menu. So yeah, that's just, you know, it's just to give you a good overview of what it looks like overall. I'm very, very pleased with it as a retro system. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. There's people, as they always do, because it's all based on Android. They're all trying to hack this and put different things on. But some of the other things that come with itself are uh, Retron cheats. Uh, here we go. Basically that holds on each game. Da -da -da. Oh, I've not put them on, but you basically get a load of listed cheats for all the games on their database once you've installed it. Dead easy, it's like copying a text file and dumping it in a folder. Bob, it just recognises it on the system. I haven't got any sat on the GBA at the moment. But uh, yeah, I mean everything pretty much looks fantastic. I'll, I'll just do one more game to show off. Um, uh, like I said, I went for the cheap cartridges. I think uh, this is one of the Madden games because it was 99p. Let's have a go. Try SNES. There we go. 
No. It might not work now because there's unknown cartridges. If you don't slide it in right, you get that. Let's try. Yeah, good game. Yes. There we go, is that going to load? Yeah! <laughs> I love this game, it's awesome, awesome lead music. Especially on the first level. It's coming off quite well on the camera, I think. Look, I'm looking sideways at the screen so I can't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> We're in. Let's just give that a bit of volume so you can tell what the awesome sounds like. Like I said, it might sound a bit tinny, that's because I'm just running this out of the projector speaker. Because the, the plug in speakers I've got are all based on the floor around the bass, so you can't really hear it. It sounds pretty good to me, even like this. on my iPhone. <laughs> but yeah, the thing about safe states is just fantastic. Cause, uh, let's do one there. Right. Go on a bit. I've got my safe state. Am I good at that? No. Uh, load state. Straight back to where you were. So right before you get to a boss battle or anything, you can you can it's cheated, I know. <laughs> but if you like me and you've got too many retro games to play, it's absolutely amazing. And it remembers all of them. So if you've got anything like RPGs or out, it, it's a godsend. So yeah guys, uh Oh, oh. There we go, it's, it's L, it's the L button, that's why I was going wrong. I'm struggling with the controls, but I tell you, it's just me being awful. The great thing about safe states is I've always wanted to complete uh, Super Metroid, but I've never had the time and inclination to do it, but I've actually got a fair way into it now thanks to this retro. <laughs> But, yeah, if, if you're thinking of getting one, guys, uh, it depends what sort of collector you are. If you need everything to be original, you can do both, really, go for the cartridges. Uh, and save your systems. Or, or The added benefit is, this is a HDMI into the back of this. You can do it into your TV as well, so then you get razor sharp. And I'm dead. So yeah, highly recommended by me. You can pick them up at uh, funstock.co.uk. Absolutely awesome little system, so I would highly recommend it. Has to be a better game player than me, though. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you watched that, uh, enjoyed that. A bit of a weird uh, summarisation of the retron, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to another video soon.